I'm very excited today because we have a day at Epcot. It's gonna be a long day because I'm heading out now. Um, I'm not sure exactly what time it is, maybe like 8.30 or something. And I'm gonna be there until maybe not all the way to midnight, but as close to it as possible because they have the extra evening hours for if you're staying at a DVC or deluxe resort. So we're gonna take advantage of that just really see what the wait times are like. I'm expecting them to be quite low. Um, and with that in mind, I haven't done Genie Plus for today. When I looked at it and I knew that I had the extra evening hours, I really don't think it would be worth it for the amount of attractions that they have at Epcot. So I am gonna do Genie Plus on an Epcot day for you guys to see what it's like and for me to see what it's like on a normal day but I'm not gonna do that today. I have, however, booked the return time for Ratatouille. I tried to get into the virtual line, but I wasn't totally paying attention and seven o'clock came around and I missed it. So I got on at eight minutes past seven and the virtual line was completely full. You do get a second go at it at 1 p.m., but I didn't wanna risk it. So I decided to pay for the return time for that one. I won't pay for a return time for Frozen Ever After because I suspect we might be able to ride that this evening. So that is the plan for today. I'm very, very excited to be here still. I just still can't believe it. Every day I wake up, I feel like I need to pinch myself. Um, today I have my lemon outfit on, so let me just do a quick outfit of the day. So here is the full lemon outfit. I have these ears which Becky made me. I absolutely love these with the lemons on. Then this play suit was from Boohoo. Obviously I've got the belt again. Becky actually gave me this bag. I love this. Um, she knew I had this outfit and she found this for me. So I'm just obsessed with that. And then I'm just wearing my Javiana's Luna sandals again. It does have slightly longer sleeves. A lot of the play suits I bought this time have just in case it is a little bit colder with it being November. But so far it's been really, really warm. So I'm not too worried about that. So I'm gonna grab my stuff and get going. Even though I'm a little bit early, I just happen to be ready early, but we can always get a Joffrey's coffee from outside Epcot. Never got a problem with doing that if I'm there a bit ahead of schedule. One thing I have realized is I am way better at getting up and out in the mornings without being late when I'm here by myself. I absolutely love traveling with other people, traveling with my friends, um, but I do get distracted then when I'm getting ready and it just, everything takes twice as long. Um, but when I'm here by myself, I can just kind of sit quietly, get ready and be out really early. So that's quite nice. And it means I'm not late for everything. That sounds like I'm blaming my friends for me being late. That's absolutely not the case. What I mean is I get distracted <laughs> when I've got other people with me. So there's nothing to do with them. I'm not blaming them for making me late. 20 minutes later. So here we are at Epcot. Loving this. Can't wait to get a coffee. I feel like I really need one this morning. I mean, there's nothing new there. I didn't bring an umbrella today because I had to forego it because my lemon bag is absolutely tiny. <laughs> so there's no way I was fitting an umbrella in there. But the forecast assures me it is not going to rain today. Now, it is Florida, so anything can change. But it was either no umbrella or no lemon lemon bag so I chose my bag so I have to say bag check is one of the biggest improved things since I've been away um, you just walk through a scanner and you are done I've stood in entrances at parks for ages in bag check lines um, especially here in at Hollywood Studios and it just takes the longest time there is none of that now you just walk through a scanner and there's no line whatsoever I haven't experienced any lines so far anyway I need coffee first we're in no rush so let's go do that so here's an interesting one I went through the annual pass holder line because I'm an annual pass holder but this is sectioned off halfway between and if you end up over there you will be held until 10 because that's when the park opens this on this side of the barrier is for resort guests but if you're an annual pass holder and a resort guest i obviously went in the wrong one so resort guest entrance is always the one that you want to go for if you're wanting to get in 30 minutes early um, even if you're an annual pass holder don't go through the annual pass holder line because you'll end up on the wrong side over there where you can't get in so uh, yeah just for anyone who might have that particular situation the same as mine and now we're in here early what are we gonna do i guess we should definitely head towards soarin since we don't have genie plus today and for those who are wondering about the construction progress at epcot it's not all been done during covid because obviously they did stop a lot of projects and things so there's still a lot of um, walls up and stuff even though the new store is open 
some of the new stuff is done but there's still a lot going on here in the way of construction and construction walls people are still actually running even though it's the half hour resort early entry honestly the only things i run for is if there's a fire or i'm getting attacked otherwise I move at my usual slow pace no matter what's happening and I'm guessing a lot of the people who are coming up the ramp there from the other direction have been waiting at the International Gateway so they're probably staying at the Epcot Resorts it feels so good to be back in here love this and there is a cast member at the door again telling people to put their face coverings on here we are and a 10 minute wait I have missed this ride so much I absolutely love it and it's making me emotional again <laughs> of course it is I think it's the music. <laughs> My name is Patrick and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. We'll begin boarding in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. Next, fasten your seatbelts, inserting them into the buckle on your right. If smaller aviators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat, just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before it <coughs> That's worked out. Oh, we've missed Patrick and we're in the middle section, which is really exciting. This is the best section to be in. Section B. amazing I was just about to leave and then I'm like oh let's go and deal with the land beneath the surface of the land roots trap water from the flowing mud extracting precious nutrients and minerals Tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. We serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants here at the land every year. So I loved that, always love Soarin', it's amazing. I do miss Soarin' over California. I wish they would periodically bring that back, um, but I love that one too. And you can still smell the smells through your face mask, in case anyone was wondering. And I thought I'd fill you in on my plan of action for the next few hours. I'm now gonna head over to the mac and cheese booth that is part of the Food and Wine Festival because that is definitely calling out to me. Then I'm gonna start some World Showcase wandering. My lunch today is at Nine Dragons and I always just have like sides there. I have like spring rolls and rice, just something not too much because there's a lot of snacks to have in Epcot. 
and then I'm gonna head around to Italy and go to Tutto Gusto for a drink. So that's the plan for the next few hours. I'm not in a mega hurry to do attractions because like I said, I've got all day and I've got those extra hours this evening. So we should have plenty of time to do the attractions with hardly any wait later on. And of course this afternoon I have my return time for Ratatouille and we're gonna check out the France Pavilion. Then I've got a live stream to do. I'm gonna take a break after that, maybe go to the Epcot Resorts. Then I'll head back for late afternoon, evening kind of time and I have dinner over at Tepanedo. I don't know if you can see him all the way in the distance but Winnie is over there with his cute little butterfly net. We'll try and go and see him a bit more close up later if he's still there. Love him. Pooh Bear is one of my absolute favourite characters. And the Epcot monorail is back in action. It was out of action for the longest time during the pandemic but it is back. So we'll try and do that as well at some point because then we'll be able to see the construction over the walls in the middle. We're slightly too keen, it is not open yet. There are cast members there. I'm imagining it's gonna be maybe at like 11. Let's go see what they have though, so we're prepared. This guy is also keen and is looking at me like, do not try and cut the line in front of me. That's the vibe I'm getting from him right now. He's like, I'm first in line, get out of here. So they have traditional macaroni and cheese with herbed panko, which is I think what I want. Oh no, I don't, I've already seen what I want. Truffle macaroni and cheese with herbed panko, that is what I want, 100%. Uh, they also have cowboy macaroni and cheese, which is with pork belly, brisket, burnt ends, pickled peppers and onion straws. And also they have sausage and peppers macaroni and cheese. Oh. They all sound good, but for sure I'm gonna get the truffle one. Maybe we should go into creations rather than like lurking with intent because I don't really wanna be that person who is like fully lurking. I feel like that's a bit too keen. And you'll notice right away how much quieter it is during the day. So if you do wanna come in here and not feel too like hassled or crowded or anything, now is a good time, it's like 10.45. And these are some of the current t-shirts they have. They've already got 2022. Happy New Year, because who needs December? Oh, I actually really, really like that. Just gonna keep a hold of that, just in case it accidentally needs to come with us. I do really like this one too. It's got Walt Disney World. It's got like 71. You see the year it opened. I like that one too. Do they not do the offer anymore, where if you buy two t-shirts, it's a bit cheaper, because that would totally justify me getting both. I haven't seen the sign though that says that. But they didn't have my size in that other one, so that solved that problem. They have this um, denim kind of, it's like a hoodie type thing. It's like a spirit jersey, denim, hoodie, jacket, hybrid. But it's one that goes over your head. If that had like a zip or something down the front, I would 100% be on board with that. But I don't like things I have to put over my head. And it's 84.99. Love these earrings. These are really cute. They are 19.99. They have quite a few kind of sweatshirts and wintry type things. Not sure about this one because you can't see Mickey that well. Oh, you kind of can from that direction. I think it was just the way the light was shining on it. And that one is 49.99. Okay, I'm gonna go and check out before I pick anything else up. So I've got my shirt and it was $21 with my annual pass discount, which I didn't think was bad at all. So let's head back out and see what it's doing with the mac and cheese. Let's see if it's happening yet. Oh yeah, it's open. We're going in. Okay, here we go. So this is the truffle mac and cheese. This smells really, really good. Oh my gosh, that's really good. When you first taste it, you're like, okay, this is fairly regular. And then you get the truffle and then the really cheesy, like super cheesy. It's really, really good. Okay, that was so good. I'm 100% going to have to get that again before the trip is over. And now let's head into World well, Showcase. I'm going to go through the main um, bit. I'm going to actually go left again into Mexico, even that's where we were last night because I'm making my way around to China. And here is another of the bronze statues and it's Figment. I love this one. That's really cute. It's just so nice to be back wandering around Epcot. This amazing weather. Oh, I'm just, I keep saying it every single day, but I'm so, so happy and grateful to be back. I honestly just can't believe it. And it's just everything I hoped it would be. It's just as exciting, just as amazing. And yeah, loving every second of it. I just feel like I'm not taking any moment for granted as well while I'm here, which I probably used to, just like everybody did. But I'm just really, really grateful for every second and yeah, it's amazing. And I think first on the agenda should be a trip on the Grand Fiesta Tour. We obviously didn't do it yesterday. So let's head there and do that now. 
So I just stopped there for some photo pass pictures in front of my favourite pavilion. I've actually never caught a photo pass photographer there before, so that'd be really nice. Okay, it's certainly less crowded in here than it was the other day. It can always feel crowded in here, even when it isn't, just because it's very tight space. And some of the attractions, although there's not social distancing, they do still have these plexiglass screens up. So we're about to get on and I do always request the very last row on these type of rides wherever possible so that I don't bother anyone else with recording and filming on my camera. like I got on there just in time because there is a line now and three Cavaleras are all back on top form I believe there was an unfortunate incident a few months ago where one of them fell off their perch or something but they're all good now and um, everything back to normal and I just love that attraction so much but now we are going to make our way over to Norway and then on to China so this is a lot more pleasant to walk around than it was on that Saturday like I said don't ever get alarmed when you see the World Showcase and the Magic Kingdom on a Saturday it does get very very crazy but as long as you avoid that the rest of the time it's much easier even at busy times of year there are some times of year where frankly every day is going to be like that and um, if you avoid those times then during the week you're usually fine and Epcot is looking beautiful today now I'm not normally one to talk about restrooms because honestly that's kind of weird but I did just want to mention that these restrooms here in Norway are some of the nicest cleanest ones in all of the world showcase <laughs> and here's another view of all the barges you can kind of see them more from this angle and it does really obstruct the view I'm not a huge fan of it but I do totally get why it needs to be there for the show and I'm sure when we see the fireworks then we'll get it okay so here we are in China and my reservation is in a little bit so I'm gonna have a wander around I'm gonna go and visit this photo pass photographer gotta get those photo pass pictures when you're traveling solo and there's lots of photographers around so that's good and I love this pavilion I love the music it's just so beautiful and very relaxing especially at this time of day when it isn't super crowded and if you're looking for quick service dining rather than table service they have Lotus Blossom Cafe they have Mongolian beef combo orange chicken combo and chicken fried rice combo and then for kids they have sweet and sour chicken and pot stickers and egg rolls I don't know what the situation is with vegetarian food there maybe they have like a different menu I don't know okay let's head into the house of good fortune well they have a bubble tea display look at this guy he's awesome love that and this store is really really massive as well it goes all the way down there and it's just huge so even when it's busy this is a good place to come because it doesn't tend to get too super crowded just because it's so huge in here and they have a little snack section here i haven't seen these before actually i've seen things like this in the japan pavilion We've obviously missed this if they did have it last time. And in terms of what flavour they are, it is a guessing game. So, beer flavoured crisps, maybe. Uh, lobster, I would say for certain. Crab. Oh, these ones actually do say. So we've got crayfish, crab flavour. And oh, the one at the bottom doesn't have... Don't know what that one is. Whatever, whatever this is. 
Oh, how cute is this kid's jacket? It's got like a built-in little panda. Oh, I love that. Speaking of pandas, if you love them, they have got you covered. I love this guy with the little piece of bamboo. I cannot make friends with any of them because I'm gonna to wanna to take them home. <gasps> Look at this one. Oh no. I love this one. He's so fluffy. And you look a tiny bit like a raccoon. And I've been seeing these little um, octopus, uh, uh, hang on, it's op octopi, if there's more than one. Is that right? I don't know. Anyway, I've been seeing these everywhere. When I went to London recently, they had loads. Is this like a thing that I don't know about? Are octopus trending right now and I just don't know about it? Oh, this one's mad. And they also have this whole undercover outside area, so it really extends out a lot this big store i think it might be about time for my reservation so let's head in that direction so i'm here in nine dragons it's really really beautiful in here i've already ordered the service in here is super quick if you get here as well when it just opens it's actually three minutes past 12. my reservation was at 12 and i've already ordered so super quick and they also have a little activity thing here so you can um practice your Chinese characters and learn different words and stuff. Wow, the lighting in here is really strange, I'm really blue, sorry about that. In a weird move, I don't actually know exactly what I've ordered. I wanted spring rolls and egg fried rice, and I was hoping to just get a side of like lo mein noodles, but I may be getting something that involves chicken. I wasn't 100% sure in the moment when I was talking to the server what I've actually ordered. So we'll see what shows up. So my vegetable spring rolls are here already. These are always really, really good here. Okay, this is even better than I expected. What I accidentally ordered was like tempura chicken. Um, it does come with like honey sauce and the noodles that I wanted and my rice. But look at this, it's on a Mickey plate. Love it. This is perfect for me. It's not too much. I'm a fairly plain eater. So yeah, this is really good. 20 minutes later. So I'm all done with eating and because it can go so quick, you're meal in here because the service is very fast and you finish eating quite quickly. I quite often get a hot tea, I've got a jasmine tea here and just relax for a little bit. It's very quiet in here so it's not like I'm holding the table or anything when somebody else needs it. So I'm just having a nice hot tea before I set off again around the World Showcase. Okay that was so good. I ended up sitting there for quite a long time drinking my jasmine tea, just having a little break and now we're gonna head over to the caramel store. I'm not 100% sure I'm ready for my caramel apple yet but by the time I look at it I don't know maybe I will be able to. I didn't have any dessert or anything in Nine Dragons so I think I can do it. I was just thinking but I was almost too polite to say that it sounds like those drummers are having an off day and then I realized it's actually guests playing drums. I was like do I say that that doesn't really sound that good? That is impressive headwear. Wow. I thought my outfits were extra. Looks like we have to go and get in around the other side which is new over here oh the line is out the door not surprising because you know it's amazing and while we're here in line we can see Snow White doing her socially distanced meet and greet And they're making the caramel popcorn. This popcorn is so good, it's amazing. I'm not gonna get any today, but I have had it before and oh my gosh, it's good. It smells incredible. So the line wasn't bad at all. The only problem with going this way, you can't actually see what is there before they're potentially then asking you what you want. Cause I haven't even had a look yet. I mean, I think I know what I want, but I need to have a quick glance in there. Okay, they don't have the 50th caramel apple, so I've gone for something else, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, so it's a struggle to get anywhere to sit down or eat anything today because it's very busy. So we're gonna have to settle for trash can dining, which ordinarily would seem really gross, but if you're at Epcot during any kind of festival, you know that it's completely acceptable. It's sometimes you just have to do it. So because they didn't have the caramel apple, I ended up getting the white chocolate gingerbread marshmallow Mickey. So this looks amazing. It's marshmallow covered in white chocolate, gingerbread sprinkles, and then Werther's caramel drizzle looks so good. In halfway point, you can't really taste the gingerbread if I'm totally honest. The overwhelming taste is the marshmallow and the white chocolate. It's really nice, but I just can't taste the gingery taste, but still really good. So we're now approaching another of my favorite pavilions, which is Italy. I absolutely love it. 
and I think we're going to go and see if we can have a little drink in Tutto Gusto. I don't know if I can get a Bellini in there or maybe maybe a limoncello or something to match today's outfit. And this weather is absolutely beautiful. It's warm, but there is a cool breeze in the air, so it's just perfect. Okay, let's see what's going on with Tutto Gusto. So it looks like Tutto Gusto and Tutto Italia both operate between 3 and 9 p.m. by the looks of the sign on the door. So we'll come back later and see what's going on with that. They have a limoncello spritzer. I think it'd be rude not to. I got the limoncello spritzer. I mean, how could I not with today's outfit? Let's see what's going on with this theatre because usually they have all kinds of concerts and things during food and wine. I'm assuming they're not doing that this year. So it looks like something happens at 7.30 and 8.30, so maybe we'll catch that later. But I'm assuming they don't have the full lineup of concerts like they normally do. We're gonna make our way towards France because that's where I'm gonna do the live stream at three. I think we'll go into the Japan Pavilion though on the way because we've got about an hour before then. And we will be coming back here this evening for dinner at Tepan Edo, which is good. So I think we'll maybe look around outside during the daylight hours and then um, this evening when I'm here we can look in the Mitsukoshi department store. And over here is Katsura Grill. This is the quick service location here in Japan. I've never really eaten here because the menu doesn't appeal to me. I think the chicken cutlet curry, I've heard a lot of good things about that. So yeah, they've got some good options here if that's your type of thing. And it's very, very beautiful over here by the koi pond. Obviously, I'm not a fan of the fish, but <laughs> I do love the scenery. I have a fear of fish, just in case anybody didn't know that. But yeah, love this pavilion. It's huge as well. It's a massive, massive area. And then over here upstairs in this building is both the table service locations, Tepan Edo and Tokyo Dining. And there is actually a signature dining experience, which I've completely forgotten the name of. I'll put it on the screen, which is around here. And we're just passing through Morocco for now, but we will be back later to have a proper look. Although I am gonna see if there's a photo pass photographer here. I'm gonna be so interested to see what the crowds are like this evening um, during the two hours after the fireworks when the park right closes. Here. So the fireworks are at 9.45, so we'll obviously watch them. Then the park closes at 10 and we have two hours then, which is the extra hours. And I think it's gonna be really, really quiet, I'm hoping. It probably won't be now I've said that. <laughs> Imagine it will be very, very pleasant walking around and the lines for the attractions will be quite short. So we'll see what happens. And I meant to say earlier when I was having my mac and cheese, I ran into Nicole and her husband, Chris. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry if it's not Nicole. My memory is terrible. I know your husband's name was Chris. I think it was Nicole, but thank you so much for saying hi and it was lovely to meet you. And I've arrived at our live stream destination for today. So. I'll stop blogging temporarily while I do the live stream and then once I've done that I will obviously show the new expansion and all around the France pavilion in the vlog as well. So I've just wandered into the store back here in France and look at these little ears, they're a macaron and then they've got the bow and the Eiffel Tower. How cute is that? Later. Okay so I've just finished the live stream and I'm now back over at Ratatouille which is behind me. The lightning lane entrance is there, I just need to find where the end of the lightning lane line is if there is one and we're gonna go and ride it i'm so excited and then once we've done this i am gonna go and take a break um just because we're busy and very crazy so um yeah let's go and ride this new ride hey it looks like there's no wait for lightning lane okay here we go hi yes thank you oh it even smells new in here it smells like fresh paint <laughs> this is a nice calm oasis from outside that is for sure, and it's nice and cool in here as well. Oh, I love this. I loved this queuing area when we were in Paris as well. So cool.
Loved that and in the lightning lane it was a complete walk on. I think if you're doing the um, virtual standby line when you come back for your group number you will still have to stand in line for a period of time. I'm not sure how long. I loved it. It's the same as the one in Paris. Um, very very cute. In terms of new rides that I've done this trip though I have to say I think my favourite is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I loved that so much. I love this as well but yeah I think out of those two that I've experienced for the first time I kind of had a bigger smile on my face and enjoyed Runaway Railway a little bit more and I definitely definitely need a break now so I'm gonna go and get on one of the friendship boats over to the Dolphin Resort. Okay we'll walk through the World Traveller store like it'd be rude not to. They do have some real little gems in here sometimes. I think this is the first time I've seen these. They're like classic sequin ears but they've got like a different bow. And they have this Mickey raincoat which is kind of cool. It's got like fabric around the top. That is $59.99. I still really like this Skyliner Funko Pop. I am tempted by this. I almost bought it um, when I was here last time. I feel like it would go nicely next to my Mr. Toad in his car. And I do really like this water bottle. I look at it every time, but it doesn't have the right kind of top that I'm looking for. I want one that has like a straw that kind of pops up. And you can also get Skyliner Christmas ornament as well. And then they have some food and wine merchandise. These are the food and wine ears. And then they also have a magic band. here we are at the Dolphin and I really need a drink so hopefully we can find both coffee and a comfy chair that is exactly what I need right now I do keep meaning to try out that restaurant the fountain it's kind of like a it is a sit down it's not a quick service but it looks quite nice I think it's kind of like diner type food maybe a little bit like beaches and cream I think and they have a beautiful Christmas tree as soon as you come in and the big chandelier in the middle of this room is so nice. And there's a sneaky little Disney store in here, which I found some really good stuff in before. So maybe we will look in there before we leave. Yeah, look at this chandelier. Very, very beautiful. Okay, let's go and get a coffee from Fuel, which is their quick service location here at the Dolphin. So currently due to COVID, if you are getting Froyo, you have all the toppings in little pots, rather than just, you know, where you would normally pick them up. I don't think I am going to get any. I would like to, but I do have my dinner at Teppanado and I don't want to be full for that. And in here, this is kind of a grab and go type place. So they have like cold drinks and they have a lot of snacks like um, porridge pots you can make there and like potato chips and stuff. Obviously they then have the froyo. And they do have, I think some sandwiches and salads and stuff over there, but it's not really like a quick service location in the sense that you would think of in the Disney hotels. It's more like a kind of grab and go type thing. They don't do like full on meals basically. And this is what I love about coming to this resort for a break. Big comfortable chairs and peace and quiet. They have so many little kind of corners and little corridors. Two hours later. So I've had a nice extended break here at the Dolphin. I've probably been here for about an hour and a half, maybe even a little bit longer. Just drinking coffee, sitting, resting my legs. And now it's time to head back over to Epcot for dinner at Teppanado, the fireworks, and then an extended two hours of Epcot when it's closed to everybody except for people staying in DVC resorts or deluxe resorts. So let's get back over there. Hopefully we'll be able to ride some rides with short waits this evening and stuff. So I'm revived and ready to go. Sometimes you do just need that break in the middle of the day and I can highly recommend coming over here to the Dolphin Resort. It's very big, so there are just so many different places to sit and relax. It doesn't get as busy as some of the other Disney resorts. They're at Epcot, like Boardwalk and Beach Club. There's less people around, so it's just very, very nice and chilled. Speaking of chilled, I hope it's not too cold outside because I did not bring a jacket, cardigan or anything today. I mean, we could buy a spirit jersey if it gets really cold, just saying. I was going to have a quick look in the Disney store, like I said on the way in, but we're a tiny bit pushed for time, so I'll do that another time. Well, clearly we were in there a while because it is now pitched up. You guys know I love a long break when I've overdone things the last few days. And one other thing I would like to do at some point is go over to the Swan Reserve, which is just over here. This is the new resort, um, which is part of the Swan. 
obviously Swan is over there, Dolphin is where we've just come from and that is the Swan Reserve so hopefully we'll be able to get over there at some point and have a look. I'm not entirely certain if we're going to be allowed in to actually look around and stuff but at some stage we'll try and go over and see if we can have a little look around. There is a definite chill in the air which would be cold for people who are local I would imagine but for me it's absolutely fine I'm definitely not cold or anything. So I'm back at Epcot and I beeped interestingly when I went through the scanner whereas I didn't this morning. I don't have the cordless hair straightener today so I don't know. <laughs> okay we are back so plan of action is to head around to Japan for my reservation and after that I think I might pitch up somewhere if I can like Chutogusto sit and have a drink while I wait for the fireworks obviously then step out and watch the fireworks and hopefully then the crowds will disperse and we can get on with doing some rides having a walk around in hopefully a relatively crowd free situation so that's the plan so it does feel a little bit more settled in this area in France than it did earlier Maybe it's just because it's dark and I can't see people as well, <laughs> but it definitely doesn't feel as crazy. And I did have a reservation for Chefs de France this trip, but I actually ended up moving it because I really didn't like anything on the menu. They've changed it a little bit. So I do really want to go back here because I haven't done it for a while, but I might just have to wait until they change the menu a bit. And there's definitely some kind of concert going on at the America Gardens Theatre, I think it's called, the one we passed earlier. I can see lights and smoke and hear loud music, so I don't know quite what's going on. Maybe there are concerts like usual, I don't know, but I didn't see a list of them, which is normally outside. I do recognise the song that's being sung, but I don't actually know who it is. And if, like me, you struggle with stairs, there is actually an elevator here to the left of Mitsukoshi Department Store for Tapanedo and Tokyo Dining. So Tokyo Dining is super, super quiet, but actually, if you get a reservation here, if you can time it right and get a table by the window, you get a really amazing view of the fireworks. So that is something to consider. And Tokyo Dining is more sushi and stuff. We are seated and you can see it's actually a really big restaurant and you will be seated with other parties as well. Unless you have a party that's big enough to fill an entire table, obviously. So the first thing we have here is a salad and it's got a ginger dressing, which I just tasted and it's really good actually. This is different than what I had last time. Oh yeah, <laughs> why not? Yeah. That's one. That's one. They don't have fun. Yeah. 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 people in there that I was sat with so hi to you guys if you're watching I've met so many nice people on this trip which has just been amazing and I'm just debating whether to kind of stand around here to watch fireworks 
Everybody was saying the best view is kind of um, as you walk into the World Showcase, but I am right over the other side. It's actually not for another 45 minutes and I'm not really one for staking out a spot that soon. So I think I'm gonna have a little wander. I am gonna attempt these stairs, which is um, a lot of stairs for me, but it's good. I've got this. And Spaceship Earth is looking stunning, doing its thing. It has all the different colored glowing lights and everything. I love, love, love what they've done with Spaceship Earth. It looks amazing. So I think I am gonna head, let's go left. Let's have a little look around Morocco because I love Morocco. Most of the pavilions are already really quiet, just sort of walking around. I think everyone who is in the park at this point is ready to watch fireworks and then leave right afterwards. I won't necessarily do the whole couple of hours, just however long I feel like doing and um, we'll do a few rides and stuff. But look at Morocco, I love it. I feel like this is one of the most authentic pavilions. Should we see if our little place is open that we like to sit? Oh, and rather than being air conditioned, they have the heating on. So this little place is kind of a hidden gem. Usually, I mean, that car noise is a little annoying, I have to say. Usually the air conditioning in here is amazing when it's really hot. And the little kind of exhibit in here changes from time to time. But the space is always the same. It doesn't always have the noisy car, but if you're looking for a nice little place to sit. There's a couple of benches in here and there's usually not many people in here. So I'm just waiting for the fireworks to start and I just have to say a massive thank you to Renee if you are watching. Renee just messaged me on Instagram to say that she had seen an Ohana reservation for tomorrow night. I quickly jumped on the app and I snagged it. We are now going to Ohana for dinner tomorrow night. I'm so excited. I've been trying to get a reservation for weeks. I can't believe it. So thank you, Renee. That has absolutely made my day. So I'm just trying to decide where to watch from. I don't really mind if we get the best view tonight because next time I'm gonna try and watch it from front and center as much as that's possible to get a good spot so tonight we'll just kind of watch it from wherever we land it starts in about 10 minutes so we'll see what space we can find I'm currently over between the UK and Canada and I think we're gonna stick with this as our spot yeah. this seems as good as any to be honest you can't get right up against the fence because it's really busy so this will be fine the world is alive with music get close to the railing I can kind of show you what the barges look like that was a terrible view that we had and um, we definitely will try and get a better view I knew tonight I was just gonna kind of end up where I ended up because I had my dining reservation so that's fine I've got no idea whether this music is gonna be an issue with copyright but here we go this is what it looks like okay if Starbucks is still open I think I'm gonna grab one real quick I don't know if it is it might be closed if so, we'll see if we can get one somewhere else. They look closed. 
Okay, it's officially got chilly enough to warrant buying a spirit jersey or a sweater. Not that I really needed an excuse. But now at least I feel like I have one. So we're just gonna head to Creations. I hope it's not too busy in there with everybody leaving. Then we're gonna try and find some coffee. And then I think we might go and try and ride Frozen. I do quite like that. It's kind of like a spirit jersey, but this is on the front, not the back. I do also like this one. I've looked at this one quite a few times before. They only have one in my size, so I'm gonna carry this around. These outfits, the little Nemos, or ne Nemos, however you say it, are so cute. There's little park ears, like 50th, this little Walt Disney World outfit, and they have like little spirit jersey type things. They've got this little spirit jersey. So cute. So I just ran into Brandon there of Brandon Vlogs. So check out his channel. I will try and link it below if I can. And looking at the sweatshirt options, it is kind of looking like this is my favorite. And I bought these the other night. I feel like this kind of goes, right? This is a good combo. So maybe that's perfect. I'm definitely going for this one. And I may have also picked up that shirt that I was looking at earlier as well. Oops, got a bit carried away. This gold magic band is really cute got the Florida project on one side and then more on the other. Ah, there is Club Cool. I was wondering where that was. So uh, next time we're back, we will go in there. I don't think that's gonna be open during these extra hours. It's looking very fancy with its makeover. I was kind of hoping that Joffrey's might still be open, but I don't know. And I don't even know if they're in the same location because they used to be over here. Now they're behind construction walls, so they must have moved. Oh dear. This is what happens when you've been away for 18 months. We don't know what is going on. It might be worth looking at Test Track, but there is no way I can ride that until I put this spirit jersey on. I will freeze to death if I ride uh, Test Track without putting this sweater on. So I just ran into Amy there. So hi, if you're watching. It's really nice to see you again. We actually met in 2019 when I was here with Becky. And I've got the spirit jersey on. I've got a very strange look going on here. I've now taken the ears off if we're about to do Test Track, because obviously they will uh, fly off otherwise. And I've got a pink spirit jersey over the lemon. It's, it's, all gone, it's all gone a bit crazy, it's all gone a bit wrong, but it's the end of the night, so I don't even care. Yeah, so 15 minutes. I don't know if single rider is open. I think I'll still ask, because it might be even less than 15 minutes if I do single rider. So single rider is open, so let's see how quick this is. I have a suspicion it's gonna be a walk-on, which is awesome. I also have a suspicion that my hair will not survive. But again, it's the end of the night, so never mind. Oh, I guess we still need to build a vehicle, do we? It's not gonna be too fussy here. Normally you get to pick the color. I didn't get to pick a color. We'll begin with the capability test to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and service conditions. Monitoring road surface. SIM card performance data acquired. Now let's see how your vehicles compare when it comes to their efficiency. leave it till the end of the day and now we're going to see if we can go and ride frozen and we can't nip through there because it's closed so we're just gonna have to go around test track was a total walk on in single rider oh there's a bunny behind the bin hey buddy oh he looked like he was trying to run out but he's scared 
Maybe you wait till later, there's a lot of people still around. Frozen is a 25 minute wait, so we're gonna do that because I'm not gonna wanna pay the extra lightning lane cost because this is one of the premium attractions. So this isn't included in the regular Genie Plus. So definitely doing it with a 25 minute wait. That's probably as low as we'll see at this trip. And the queuing area is really cute for this ride too. Andre Galkin here. Happy summer snow day from me to you. wait time for that was 25 minutes it was 10 I timed it exactly so it wasn't even close to 25 minutes and it's worth noting that the rest of the world showcase is not open during these extra hours it's just really the rides so they keep this part open because frozen is here but the rest of it is closed the same goes for most of the shops the festival booths all that type of thing really these extra hours are for getting rides done and on that note we are going to go and ride spaceship earth i probably won't vlog it today because i vlogged it the other day and joffrey's is also closed so i don't think there's anywhere to get a drink during these hours, not like a hot drink anyway. Spaceship Earth is looking amazing. I love, love, love the new lights. I know I keep saying it, but they are stunning. So much better in person than on camera. Oh my goodness, yes. It is still here behind the construction walls and it is also open. Joffreys, I love you. So I'm sitting here under Spaceship Earth, drinking my coffee, just waiting to ride Spaceship Earth, but I have to drink this first. And I started crying again, obviously. <laughs> How many times is that gonna happen on this trip? But honestly, just sitting here, listening to the Epcot music, there's hardly anyone around. The new lights on Spaceship Earth are just beautiful and I'm just, yeah, so incredibly grateful to be here. I've just realized there's only five minutes left until the park closes, which means they will obviously stop um, letting people on the rides. I'm either gonna have to throw out my coffee, which I've been waiting for, or just ride this when I come back. And I think I'm gonna ride it when I come back. I obviously did it yesterday. Um, I'm coming back to Epcot doing uh, Genie Plus, so I'll be able to easily ride it then. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here Enjoy drinking this coffee for a few more moments and then we are gonna head back to Saratoga Springs. Oh, and there's a monorail right on cue. Moments later. Okay, who was I kidding? Of course, we're gonna quickly rush on it. I can't help myself. I may have burned the back of my throat finishing the coffee, but totally worth it. Really glad I did that. I knew if I'd have got on the bus, I would have just really regretted not doing it when I was right next to it, so love 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 that attraction now it's definitely time to get back to saratoga springs go to bed it is after midnight and i'm moving resorts tomorrow over to the boardwalk so i need to get my stuff ready and make sure everything's packed i didn't really unpack fully so it should be fine so now we really are in an empty epcot so it's kind of crazy being in the parks when it's like this doesn't happen very often Compared to the scenes we have been witnessing the last few days, this just seems crazy. Now I'm assuming we're gonna be able to get a bus back to Saratoga Springs, considering that I'm one of the last people out. And if not, we'll be getting an Uber. <laughs> but normally Disney are pretty good about getting you home if the parks have been open late. I won't have to sleep in the parking lot either way, so it's fine. Hello, as you can see, it is a new day. 
the exact same thing happened last night as happened the other night because <laughs> it was so late when i got back from epcot i think it was around 12 30. it was probably a bit later than that actually it was 12 30 when i was on the bus i got in i was so exhausted my legs were aching i was like i'm just gonna lay down here for a second you know what happened you know the rest woke up at three all my stuff on the bed makeup still on so that was not great um but yesterday it was absolutely amazing it was so good um i didn't have genie plus as i said yesterday and without genie plus but having the extra morning half hour and the two hours after park close i managed to ride spaceship earth we did test track soaring living with the land uh, grand fiesta tour frozen and ratatouille so i did pay for ratatouille the return time but other than that everything else i managed to do within those hours but definitely the extra half hour and the extra two hours made all the difference in being able to do that so with genie plus it really is working out some days and not working out others it just depends on what's happening um exactly what i'm doing whether i think i'm going to be able to make the most of it i'm still navigating it and we're going to talk a bit more about it today which you will see in next week's vlog um, because i do have it today so each day of the vlogs will be a different experience so hopefully by the end of this trip you guys will have some kind of idea of what's going to work for you as well so i hope you're enjoying these vlogs if you are give this a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon that way you always get notified of any uploads that i do i really hope you're enjoying these vlogs i hope you're finding them helpful for planning your trip i'm absolutely loving it i'm loving sharing it all with you and i'm just excited for the rest of the trip so as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one and while i was in line i have gotten over the uh whole <laughs> return time thing um yeah it's it is one of those things i really do not know why that happened i can't explain it 